What is the meaning of your life? Is there a purpose that guides all your actions, all your words, the relationships you decide to unfold? We all know what physical health is, and we tend to think that we know what psychological health is. Both these visions of health have become very normative in our society. It tells us how to be normal. I want to talk to you about philosophical health. My name is Louis de Miranda, and I'm a researcher at the Institute for Advanced Studies of the University of Turku. And I work in this field called philosophical health, which cares about the unity in your life between action, the decisions you take, and your thoughts, your values, your deepest orientation, and if possible, what your higher purpose is. So, of course, those are topics that are difficult, that are complex. We can say that philosophy has been around for a long time, and we do know that philosophy started as a way of taking care of our soul, a way of helping others have meaningful and consistent existences. But we've forgotten that. We've forgotten that, and today we live in a world where people are very conscious that they want to compete, they want to have a place in society, they want to be recognized. But the time to stop and to take a deep breath and to think about our values, our personal orientation in life such that we know for which values and for which notions and even for which concepts we want to fight and that we want to embody, this time we seem to forget to take it. We seem to forget to pause and think about our place in the world and how we can make things not just possible, as the capitalist discourse would have it, but compossible, harmonious, and sustainably integrated in relationships that work and collaborate for a world that could be the best of all possible worlds. What I do is that I help people find their philosophical sense, their sense of purpose, and I have developed a method that I call Smile PH. As you notice, I don't smile very often in videos or pictures, but SMILE actually stands for an acronym. It's the acronym of sense-making interviews looking at elements of philosophical health. And the SMILE method helped people, without being intimidated by the idea of philosophy, slowly um, unfold and develop and co-create their um, philosophical sense and their sense of purpose. So philosophical health helps us become a person that is compossible, that means a person in which all the um, qualities, all the elements, the tendencies, the physical, the spiritual, the psychological, the professional, all this works in harmony, but also taking into perspective our collective uh, being, the fact that we do not exist in isolation. How do we, and this is philosophy's preoccupation since Plato, how do we create paradise on earth, not after we die, but here in a world that is the best of all compossible worlds?